Hello everybody, it's me, Sarah. I've decided to start a YouTube channel. You may already know me from TikTok or Instagram. I have over 70,000 followers combined between the two, which is cool. But yeah, YouTube. Hello. How are we? I am so awkward. Yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit about traveling as an autistic person because I am doing that tonight. I am going on a plane to the Netherlands and I just want to go through a checklist of things that make traveling a bit more accessible for me um, and ease the worry that I have about going abroad. So the first thing I want to talk about is things that I bring with me. Excuse the lighting change. So two of the most important things I bring with me are a sunflower lanyard and an important flyer wristband for when I am traveling abroad. This is the Dublin airport important flyer wristband. So it can only be used in Dublin airport, but it um, lets the staff know that I have a hidden disability and that I may need extra assistance. It also allows me to skip queues if I need to. And so that would be queues in security and queues at the departure gate to get on board. The Sunflower Lanyard also does the same. It is the one that is recognized in the airport in the Netherlands that I'm not even gonna try and say it, but they serve the same purpose. They're just two different looks, I guess. You may recognize the Sunflower Lanyard already. It is used a lot in the UK. It is UK based, but it other places use it too sometimes. For other things I bring, I have a little bag. It's full of sensory toys and sensory tools. In terms of toys, I'm only bringing three things with me. I'm bringing a tangle, um, some buckyballs, and a sensory stick, because these are my three favorite toys. In terms of tools, I have sunglasses. Everybody probably brings sunglasses traveling with them, but they really help me because I am overly sensitive to light. Other tools I use, I have my loop earplugs. One of them is a loop quiet and one is a loop experience. They help me with two different things. So the experience I would wear like day to day, like when I'm out and about in public, um, because it still allows me to be aware of my surroundings. It just muffles the noise a little bit. So it's not as overwhelming. The quiet kind of takes everything away and I'd wear it during sensory overloads, which I do expect to happen during my trip because I will not be getting any sleep and I will be incredibly overwhelmed by eight hours of traveling. So earplugs. I am also taking my noise cancelling headphones. These are the Sony WH-1000 XM3 headphones. They kind of just sit on my head. I'm in pain because I got my ears pierced like yesterday. They help a lot too um, and I bring them with me everywhere if I'm going abroad or if I'm getting a bus into town. On my phone I have an AAC app. I think it's called AAC Bestie. Um, I have it just in case I have a non-speaking episode. It doesn't happen very regularly but it is important because I will be traveling by myself that I have that I am able to communicate with people. In terms of things that I'm doing to ease my anxiety slash minimize any sensory overload, I have booked myself into the sensory room in Dublin airport. I've been in there before. I haven't really traveled at all since I got my diagnosis. Um, I did once and I didn't book myself in, but I have now and it looks really cool and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, if anybody has any other tips or tricks for traveling as an autistic or even just a disabled person, um, leave them in the comments. It would be great to hear other people's inputs. This is just my experience as someone who has traveled a lot. I've only had my diagnosis for three years, so I'm still kind of learning and adjusting um, my ways of traveling with that diagnosis and for like two of them I was in quarantine anyways so I didn't get to experience travel. Thank you all so much for watching. I am hoping to do this quite regularly. Who the fuck knows? Excuse my language, can I swear on YouTube? I don't know but yeah um comment, like, subscribe, do all of that stuff. This will be more professional eventually. Don't talk to me about it, I don't know. Okay, bye. See, there's bubbly machines. I, I, I love it.